<laughs> I'm Isabella Boylston, and I'm a principal ballerina with American Ballet Theatre in New York City. I'm Sophie Kamalakos. I'm assistant curator in the Department of Film at MoMA, and I'm so excited to watch the film that you've picked today, which is Studying Choreography for Camera, collaboration between Maya Darren and Tally Beatty. So we're looking at this in 16 millimeter print, which is uh, the original format of the film. If we go to the galleries later, you'll see it's showing in, uh, in digital. But oh, cool. since we're in the cinema, I thought I'd show you the cinematic format. Yeah, I love this. His starting position reminds me of Nijinsky in Afternoon of a Fawn, how he starts in a low crouch and then he stretches up and stretches up in each frame. I feel like he's definitely a depiction of strength from the first frame. And strength in so many ways. And what year was it made? It's from 45. 45. Yeah. It's so incredible. Yeah. And just to have like a woman <laughs> making her own films at that time. A woman and an African-American yeah, man yeah, yeah. who both had great expression and great successes and great recognition, but also hurdles, uh, mm -hmm. you know, their respective hurdles. And so I really see the work as a work of affirmation and of celebration and of presence mm -hmm. and of virtuosity and beauty mm -hmm. and all those things rolled into one. I mean, he has like the perfect ballet body. Watching it, it's just like, oh man, those legs and arms and face, everything. He's doing a développé, that's what it's called, with a pointed foot. I feel like dance is such a difficult thing to capture on film because part of the beauty of live performance is that it's live and it's in the moment and then it's over and you can't like edit it or filter it. And I feel like when you see dance depicted on film and it's able to reveal something different about the dance that you wouldn't get in a live performance, that's when, to me, it's really effective and powerful. She had a name for that. She called it uh, choreo cinema. Choreo, so, choreo cool. cinema, yeah. So it's choreography for a camera. Mm -hmm. It's not choreography on camera. It's not a document. It's, it only exists in the film that they made together. Yeah, so yeah and I love how yeah. in the credits it says, by Maya Darren and Tally Beatty. That's it, that, that's exactly it. It was a complete collaboration. Camera and the editing follows his, his movements. Mm -hmm. So as, as, you, as you said earlier, it just completely seamlessly goes from one movement to the other mm -hmm. and jumps from interior, exterior. Yes, I mean, this work has self-portraiture. These are somehow dual self-portraits by the mm -hmm. filmmaker and the choreographer. It's almost like he's achieving godlike status in the end, leaping in front of the sky. And I love how it builds too from like him being in a more natural location and doing sort of slow and lyrical movements and then the fast turns and then like the big grand jetés. It has a nice upward build. I love that. Like through the physicality of what he's doing. I wouldn't know that without you. It's really? true. Well, uh, in a way, in a well, in a way, because it's uh, of course there's an arc yeah. to the movements as well, right? Yeah. We are now in the galleries looking at the Darren film installed with its wonderful neighbors. This gallery is about New York in 1945. It's so wow. thinking about bodies and intimacy and symbols, you have Wilfredo well, Lamb, you have Darren, you have Bourgeois, and then you have, I mean, it's just, just, just the, kind of, the kind of conversation you can have visually or emotionally. And honestly, it just makes me want to dance. <laughs> like when I come into a big open room like this, <laughs> just want to like move around. I'm, I want to be him in the museum. 